Norm, does the discharge pressure from a centrifugal pump always increase when the discharge valve is throttled back? Unfortunately, the answer to that question is no. Now, you probably are not going to be seeing this on any pump performance curve or read about it in any books about hydraulics, but in reality, for a large high head pumps, I don't mean a small 100 horsepower pump, something like 500 horsepower, big head, big flow, those pumps have a very bad characteristic that if you throttle the discharge back far below the design point, admittedly in an area that the manufacturer has never intended you to operate at, then you will find that as you throttle far, far below the best efficiency or design point, the discharge pressure is going to go down rather than up. I've seen this happen on several pumps in the vacuum tower bottoms pump. The one I remember most clearly happened in Aruba at the coastal refinery. The pump discharge pressure dropped from about 220 pounds to about 190 pounds as I throttle on the discharge past the point. The real problem, however, is below this point, that particular pump had a tremendous tendency to vibrate. Vibrate in a sense that it would destroy the mechanical seal if I continued the operation below point A. So you really cannot run for any particular length of time in this mode where the pump discharge pressure falls below its maximum discharge pressure as you throttle back on the discharge. And perhaps why the manufacturers do not show it because they never intend you to operate in that region in the first place. In this particular case, the problem was in Aruba, if I tried to operate above this point, the pump was subject to cavitation due to loss of suction pressure. If I tried to run below point A, then the pump vibrated very badly. And in reality, in this case, I had to shut the pump down. It was much too big for the intended service.